Hello children. Today we are going to learn another interesting concept which is based on time. Here we will learn how to convert smaller unit of time into another one. Before that let us recall what we know. One day has 24 hours. One hour has 60 minutes. One minute has 60 seconds. And one year has 12 months in it. Now if we have to convert any smaller unit into the bigger one, then we always divide. Here, to convert seconds into minutes, we will divide by 60. To convert minutes to hours, we divide by 60. And to convert hours into days, we will divide by 24. Now, we are going to convert 450 hours into days and hours. Before that, we must tell what is the relation between the days and hours one day has 24 hours in it so we are going to divide 450 by 24 now when we divide 450 by 24 we get 18 as our quotient and 18 as our remainder now the 18 which we have got in the quotient that represents the bigger unit that is days and 18 which have we have got in the remainder that represents the smaller unit here is hours so 450 hours has 18 days and 18 hours in it now we will learn how to go from minutes into hours and minutes first of all we have to tell the relation between hours and minutes one hour has 60 minutes now to convert 215 minutes into hours and minutes we will divide it by 60 after dividing 215 by 60 we get 3 as our quotient and 35 as our remainder now here the bigger unit is represented by the quotient that is hours and the smaller unit is represented by the remainder here smaller unit is minutes so 215 minutes has 3 hours and 35 minutes in it children keep a point in your mind that whenever you are dividing the bigger unit is always represented by the quotient and smaller unit is remainder now we are going to convert 285 seconds into minutes and seconds. So, V is same. We have to tell the relation between minutes and seconds first. We know that 1 minute has 60 seconds in it. Now, 285 seconds has 285 divided by 60 minutes in it. After dividing 285 by 60, we get 4 as our quotient and 45 as our remainder now the quotient represents the bigger unit so it is minutes and the smaller unit is remainder so our answer is 4 minutes and 45 seconds further we will learn how to convert months into years and months so way is same here also we will tell the relation between years and months one year has 12 months in it so 95 months has 95 divided by 12 years when we divide 95 by 12 we get 7 as quotient and 11 as our months that is remainder so the bigger unit is represented by the quotient and smaller unit is represented by the remainder so here our answer is 7 years and 11 months.